Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel. Today I'm talking about pre-emergence. We're gonna talk about when to use your pre-emergence, why to use your pre-emergence, and how to use your pre-emergence. And hopefully this will kind of bring you up to speed if it's something you're confused about. So let's get started. I'm gonna show several different products. I'm hopefully give you some tips and pointers so that you understand what you're doing to your lawn or to your customer's lawns. Let's get started with that right now. Okay, so why use a pre-emergent herbicide? When you're talking about pre and post-emergence, your pre-emergence, you're basically trying to prevent your weeds. Post-emergence, you're trying to get rid of existing weeds. And why do the pre-emergent? Well, typically speaking, that is a, a cheaper way to control weeds and also a more effective way. So let's just take crabgrass for example. If I'm able to prevent it with a pre-emergent, it's, it's definitely much more cost-effective and it's usually uh, the best way to control it if you can get that pre-emergent down on time. Now, there's options to control from a post-emergent standpoint, but they're uh, more costly and honestly don't provide as good a control as the pre-emergent one. That's the why we use pre-emergent. I mean, can you just walk around spot treating weeds and don't put out a pre-emergent and you just walk around spot treat whatever? Well, you know, I, I don't want to speak for all regions, but I know where we live, I'm in Alabama, and in the south here, our lawns have a lot of weeds, okay? So if I just tried to go around, some people even tell me I should just go around and, and pull the weeds out by hand. Well, that, I could, you, you could have a full-time job just doing that on one person's lawn because they grow very fast, the yard's covered, and it's just not a successful way to have a nice lawn. To be honest with you now maybe in other regions the different grass types less weeds there's things you can do to grow healthy turf have less weeds whatever but it just doesn't work here so um, we're going to blanket the lawn with a pre-emergent and that's going to greatly reduce the amount of uh, spot treating we're going to have to do later with a post-emergent so how do you apply it well most of the pre-emergents are going to come in a uh, liquid or granular form so if you're just out there with a some kind of push spreader you can get a lot of these products in a granular form. Now most of the time when I'm putting out a pre-emergent, I'm using a liquid formulation. The reason I do that, one, I've got a big spray tank and I, I'm able to, to do that. But the other is uh, while I'm doing that with that liquid, uh, I think you probably get a little bit better coverage with liquid than you do granular, though they both can be effective. But the, the liquid, the main advantage is I'm able to mix multiple products in there at the same time. So when I've I've got my pre-emergent in there trying to, at this time of year, I'm trying to prevent warm season weeds like crabgrass. I also have one or two post-emergent herbicides in there that I'm trying to get rid of the existing cool season weeds or maybe some warm season weeds have already germinated and I'm working on those as well. So I can mix multiple products in there. I get some good agitation in the tank and put out one layer to accomplish multiple purposes uh, with one application. Let's talk about the what of a pre-emergent. Like which pre-emergence are we gonna use? Well, again, I'm gonna speak from, from what I'm using and, and it has to do with your time of year. So in general, uh, in our area, we are dealing with warm season grasses and we got cool season weeds, warm season weeds. So uh, we're trying to put out a pre-emergent early in the year to prevent the warm season weeds. So you're putting it out before the warm season weeds germinate, which in my area, like things like crabgrass, things like typically germinate late February, early March. So I want to get my pre-emergent out before that happens. Uh, and then in the fall, you've got cool season weeds that start germinating when the weather cools off, typically in late September, October, something like that. So we want to get uh, the pre-emergent out before that happens. So uh, what I'm using right now, using this uh, product right here is a pre-emergent Resolute. And uh, again, you can get this in a granular formulation, the active ingredients, Prodiamine. You may see a 007 bag with Pro Prodiamine. It's very effective for crabgrass. But the, the key here is that you gotta get it out before the crabgrass germinates. You wanna get it out before that happens, which uh, my understanding is happens when the soil temperature reaches around 55 degrees. Now, you think, well, if it got up to 60 degrees one day, does that mean that crabgrass is gonna germinate? Probably not. The, probably gonna take several days of consistently warmer temperatures before those soil temperatures rise. Now you can get a tool that'll measure the soil temperature for you, and I'll show you another way uh, later that you can also get a good guesstimate on when the crabgrass is gonna germinate. But go ahead and get your 
pre-emerging out again let me use where i'm at for an example uh we think our crabgrass typically germinates late february early march if you're further south you get warmer weather it's going to happen earlier if you in colder climates it's going to probably happen later but we start putting out our pre-emergence early january because i've you got hundreds of lawns some companies have thousands of lawn you got to get it down and yes it'd be better to be early than late because if you're late with prodiamine it's not going to be effective in preventing those weeds now there's some products that have both pre and post emergent activity like this this dimension so, so let's say somebody calls me in mid-march or something and, and they haven't had any treatments on our lawn then i'd go use something like this dimension which is supposed to prevent uh, crabgrass that hasn't germinated but also if you have baby crabgrass that's already germinated we'll be able to help control that as well you're looking at a much higher cost on products like this and then if you go to straight post emergent route once you have uh, crabgrass and you're trying to get rid of it you use products like this drive accelerate or solitaire you can use those for spot treating or even or putting them in a, a tank sprayer and that's other options but, it, but it's much cheaper and more effective to use the pre-emergent if you get it out on time i talked about mixing things in the tank and that's very effective one of the things we mix in the tank early in the year is this product called triplet it's a three-way product we put some surfactant in there which helps it stick to the plant and become more effective so if you got like things like dandelions in the lawn the triplet can help get rid of those while at the same time using resolute to help prevent some of the summer weeds let me show you another way that you can tell when the crabgrass is about to germinate by looking at a shrub that is blooming all over the place at least near me at the shooting of this video so you'll see the yellow flowers behind me. I believe this shrub is called a Ferencia. And this is a trick that my friend James taught me. Some of you met him at the uh, Lawn Care Life Conference we had recently. But uh, what James taught me was basically the crabgrass germinates. You know, for those of you who don't have a soil thermometer, don't walk around with one checking the soil temperature. He said typically the germination of the crabgrass typically coincides with the time that these yellow blooms fall off of the Ferencia bush again hope i'm pronouncing that correctly let's check it out and see how it looks okay so these shrubs you if you uh, they're blooming all over the place here in my area i'm in alabama this is late february and you can actually see there are a couple falling off here there's a uh a bloom falling off so does that mean the crabgrass is germinated i i really don't know but if it hasn't yet it's going to be really really soon we're still getting down below freezing at night on some occasions but also getting up in the mid 60s you know by the air temperatures so anyway just just a trick if you got this shrub maybe you want to just plant one at your house but it won't be long now obviously if you if you plant this thing and, and you got flowers all over and you get 30 mile an hour gust of winds you're going to lose some blooms i don't think that's necessarily the indicator but uh, it'll be very soon that a lot of these blooms will be falling off and again it's better to be early than late with your pre-emergent don't try to wait to the very last minute and put it out i mean in that cold weather we start putting it out early january and you can get it down early and still be effective uh, much better to be early than late so if you look at this this is a dormant bermuda grass lawn not a very healthy one but what are you going to see you see some cool season weeds popping up right here so that's what the post emergent can do and you mix in there with it you can get rid of those but we're trying to prevent things like crabgrass so you, you see there's kind of some light spots in here and some dark spots some of the dark spots are just bare dirt but some of these dark spots is where last year this area was just loaded with crabgrass and all this is dead crabgrass from last year. And guess what? If we don't put a pre-emergent down, you're going to have crabgrass again this year. So you can, uh, in our Bermuda lawns, the crabgrass takes over and it, it basically is so thick that it hinders the, the turf grass that you're trying to get to, to fill in. Now, some grasses don't are, are much better at choking out crabgrass on their own, but the Bermuda, uh, for us, is probably the worst to do it, and it just gets loaded with crabgrass without a pre-emergent. Like I said, it's a real pain to get rid of once you have it, so it's better to prevent it on the front end. So let's see if this makes sense. 
the time that weeds germinate is not based on the calendar it's based on the soil temperatures and that changes year to year depending on the weather and it's also going to change depending on where you live so uh, if you warmer climate it's going to happen earlier cooler climate is going to happen later so uh, again using alabama as an example where i'm at we try to get our our pre-emergence out in the early in the year we start early january and try to get them out by mid-february uh, it's better to be early than late and if i can do that then i'm pretty much gonna not have much crabgrass on those lawns i get people to sign up late then i switch over start using dimension or, or queen clark or something like that to try to get rid of the existing crabgrass but it's much more difficult basically i wish everybody would sign up in january and not wait till march or april but you know beggars can't be juicers then uh, in the fall you've got your cool season weeds that are going to germinate so we're going to put out that pre-emergent again in my area we, we try to do that september october time frame we i'm typically mixing a post-emergent in there trying to get rid of weeds uh, maybe they've already germinated and you're trying to get rid of those or some uh, weeds that are hanging on that have been there for a while you're trying to get rid of those so uh, that's a big advantage of using liquid applications you can mix those products but you can do it with a grainer probably it's going to be a little more expensive maybe not quite as good a coverage and then you use a backpack sprayer to walk around and spot tree weeds so hey i'm jason creel let me hear from you what's uh, some your thoughts in the comments on pre-emergence hopefully some of this makes sense hey i know if you're brand new to this it's a little confusing but uh anyway it's not that complicated it just takes a little bit of time to understand uh, hopefully showing you some of these products i put some links to some products in the description below that you can go check out and i would encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you found value in this video i've got others i continue to produce a lot of new content so uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button and for those of you in the business i got some resources available for you at lawncarelife.com you can check those out talk to you later bye